your layups are getting blocked, I want you to pay attention to this move that Steve Nash really was the one who, who first implemented it. First thing I want you to do, picture in your head yourself going for a layup. Once you picture that, I'm going to bet you nine bajillion dollars that it looks something like this. First of all, you're going to your dominant side. So I'm a lefty. You're going to your left side. If you're righty, going to your right side. Second part, you are jumping off of the opposite foot that you are shooting with. So if you're a righty, you're going right and you're jumping off of this left foot. This is how layups are. This is how people think of layups. When you watch in the NBA, you watch in the NCAA, it's always usually this when there's opening. What Steve Nash did is he circumvented the mold in two important ways. Number one, he went on the opposite side. So if you're going left on the left side, you go right on the left side, which looks something like this. It's a little bit harder. It's worth the practice. I'll show it on my right side now. But it's very, very important because the defender has this paradigm in their head of if you go left, you're shooting a left-handed layup. Not if you're going right. So that's the first part. This is very much more common, the offhand layup. However, the second thing that we're going to throw into it is jumping off the wrong foot. Now this also makes the layup a bit harder, but it makes it a bit quicker. And it subverts that idea of what a layup is in the defender's mind. So instead of going a normal layup like that, or normal reverse layup I should say, we're going to jump off of the same foot that we shoot with. So I'm going to go left-handed from the right-handed side and jump off my left foot. So what that does is it's a very quick move. As I'm going to go full speed now. The defender, it's very difficult for the defender to anticipate that because they have to A, anticipate going to the wrong side and B, going on the wrong foot. So I'll do it from the left side now. It's a very powerful move because it changes what the defender thinks of when they think of a layup. If you enjoyed this style of video, I released one last week on how to improve your jump shot in a similar style. So you might like it. I'll link it on the screen now. That's all for me. Hope to see you again soon.